What's going on guys? Nick Foy here from AskNickFoy.com and today's video is episode number one of how to start an online business. So if you watched yesterday's video, I believe it was, I kind of showed you an introduction to my new golf site that I just started called NickFoyGolf.com and as I mentioned, I'm going to be doing case studies once a month. So like how other bloggers do blog income reports. I'm kind of going to be doing like a blog income traffic report for this specific website uh, showing you how to start an online business from scratch. So what I've done is I'm following my 30 day plan to get your online business set up that I teach in Profitable Blogger, one of my online courses. And you know what I'm doing is getting this all set up and then we're going to start month number one at the end of the 30 days. So I'm actually going to shortcut it a little bit since I've got experience and since I didn't start it at the beginning of October, I just started it a couple days ago here, you know, about the 10th or 9th of October. So instead of giving me 30 days to get all set up, I'm going to take the remaining 20 days out of this month to get all set up so that I can start fresh on November 1st. And so we're going to go from there. So November is going to be month number one where this blog is going to be live. I'm going to launch the blog November 1st. I'm going to launch a, a product, a winter golf training program on November 1st. And, uh, you know, you're going to be able to see me start making product sales on that product right away. So I'm going to get the blog all set up. I'm going to get the product set up, the email marketing set up. And then November 1st, we, we turn the blog live for people to start coming to it. And I'm going to start driving traffic to it and trying to make sales for my first product that I'm creating, which is a golf winter practice program. So you're going to get to see over these next 20 days, I'm going to make some videos kind of showing you how I'm setting up my website to get it started. And then after that, we'll do like a monthly blogger income traffic report video. So this first video episode number one is just kind of going to catch you up to where we are right now. So what I did was if you go to, I'm going to show you some different affiliate links you can use uh, to use some different resources if you're trying to start from scratch like I did. So what, number one, you got to get website hosting. So I've actually partnered with Bluehost. So if you were to go to Bluehost website, which I created an affiliate link and we'll see if it's going to work here or not, but it's asknickfoy.com slash Bluehost. So if you type this URL into your browser, you hit enter, it's an affiliate link that's going to take you over to Bluehost website and let them know that I sent you. Again, I've partnered with them, uh, so I am going to earn a referral fee for referring you, but because I partnered with them, you're actually going to get you know a lower rate starting out if you start with the basic plan. So $3.95 a month, it usually starts at $7.99 you're going to get 395 a month. So you need hosting. This is very important if you want uh, to run your website on the internet. Hosting basically gives you, you know, that server space that allows you to be live on the internet. It stores all your files. In other words, it hosts your files. So they've got different plans here, but again, a website's real cheap to run. It costs four bucks a month. You're going to get, you know, a bunch of functions and stuff that you don't get on a free website. So that's why I don't recommend running a free website. So what I did was, you know, you buy hosting, so you would just click select your plan, you fill out all your information on the next page, it wants to you to set up an account. So you put your name, email address, so we'll go ahead and click select just to show you what that looks like. But then you'll put in your credit card information and your, your account will be all set up. So what you're going to need to do first, though, before you get to the account creation page is you're going to need to choose your domain name. So in my case, I chose nickfoygolf.com, as you can see right here. So you could type in whatever you want your domain name to be, and then you can choose your extension. I recommend a .com extension. Don't try using one of these, you know, wacky ones. It's just stick with a professional .com extension. And if your website domain's already taken, you know, keep tr coming up with other ideas. And then once you find one that's available, you hit the next button, and that's when it takes you on to the create an account page. So that's what I did there. I filled out all the information, set up my account now. If you already have a domain name, you can enter it here and you know it'll take you on again to the next page where the account pages. So some people buy domain names from third party sellers. So like I've, you know, I buy most of mine actually through Namecheap and then because I've got multiple websites. So once I bought my hosting plan, I bought the the next plan up. So that allows me to have unlimited number of websites so for 5.95 a month an extra two dollars a month 
I get unlimited websites instead of one website. So now what I'll do is anytime I buy, I want to start a new domain. I just go to Namecheap and you know I purchase that domain for like eight or nine bucks a year. And then I integrate it into my Bluehost account so that I can set up my website. So there's other training videos on that. I won't go into that. It's getting more technical here. But once you buy your hosting plan, you create your account and you click you know, that green purchase get started button at the very end of the account setup page, it's going to take you into like your little WordPress Bluehost dashboard and it should install WordPress for you. They've changed how they do it now. So I think nowadays Bluehost actually installs WordPress for you. So it might give you like a temporary domain where you can log into your WordPress dashboard. So once you get all logged in, I'll go ahead and get in here to my dashboard. You've got the left hand side here that's your toolbar. And again, I've got another tutorial. I've got two or three different tutorials already on uh, my YouTube channel, Nick Foy TV, if you want to check out step by step WordPress tutorials of how to set up a website in like one hour. I walk you through everything you know there is for WordPress. It's actually one of the main videos on my channel when you first come to it it's got over 20,000 views already uh, and it walks you detailed by detail through every single tab of wordpress you understand how to use wordpress all right so once you're in your dashboard basically what i did now to get ask nick foy set up is i had to pick out a theme you know i had to figure out how i wanted to design my website now my brother was actually setting up his at the exact same time he's doing mike foy golf because he's going to be teaching golf online as well we both come from golf backgrounds and we're very skilled at playing golf so we decided to start online teaching communities um, so I was helping him at the exact same time so what we actually did is just what I showed you that you can go watch those one hour tutorials to teach you how to do everything but we basically came in here and we set up all the settings so under the reading section I went ahead and made it so that I had my own home page here that way it's not just my blog posts. So by default, it'll just show all your latest blog posts, but I wanted my own custom homepage. So I had to go into settings under reading and set my blog page to my blog page. And then I set my front page, my homepage to uh, a page that I titled home. So you'll have to come in here to pages and you'll have to add some new pages. But before you do that, actually what I ended up doing was installing the theme Aveda and when I downloaded a demo template they actually already install pages for you that are pre-built so this home page I didn't need to go create my own home page or my own blog page I just installed the demo theme and it, it gave me pages called home and and blog so let me go ahead in here to all pages just to show you what it looks like and then we're gonna move on to picking out your theme so you can see here that you know these are all the different pages they installed I went ahead and deleted a bunch so you can see here in the trash I've got 17 so there's a lot of pages that came with the theme that I didn't want because it was I'll, I'll show you in a sec it was a church theme um, so it had a bunch of like church related pages uh, so I didn't need all those so I just trashed them I kept you know the home page the about page the blog page the contact page and then you can see here that you know there's doubles so there's like two contact pages two home pages um, so that's where you know I was talking about I went in and created my own home page and my own contact page ahead of time before I installed the demo so that's why you don't need to to go here to add new if you plan on installing like a demo template because they'll already give you a home page and a blog page and a contact page on their own so there's no reason to go ahead and create your own because then you'll have duplicates and you're only going to end up using one of them so that's where I would hold off on creating pages until you decide on your theme. So once we, once I bought hosting, I got into my WordPress dashboard and then I decided to pick out a theme. So I picked the Aveda theme. It's the number one sold theme on ThemeForce. So what you can do again, use my affiliate link. If you want to help me get credit for sending you, you go to asknickfoy.com slash Aveda. And if you type this link in, it's going to take you right to the Aveda theme over on ThemeForest, which is a big marketplace where you can find WordPress themes for your website. Um, so down here, we'll scroll down and there's gonna be a demo button or a live preview button. So this is what you could click on to get, you know, look at all the different demos. When you're ready, you'll click the purchase button right here. And I believe it's $60, it's a one-time fee. So once you buy the theme, it's yours. I've used it over and over and over again on all of my websites. So I've used it multiple times for multiple websites and I've only had to pay for it once. All right, so once you've bought this theme, you're gonna come in here to your dashboard and you're gonna go to this downloads button right here. And that's where you're gonna be able to find the, the, your purchase. So then what you're gonna wanna do is 
download the installable WordPress file only. Otherwise, they give you like a zip file with a bunch of extra documents. If you want to download that too and read those documents, you can. But I do the install WordPress file only. So it'll download that. And then once it's downloaded to my computer, I come back in here to my dashboard. And you're going to have to go under appearance to themes. And then you're going to need to upload that, that folder that you just downloaded. It's a zip file. You'll have to upload that here into WordPress. So you would just go to add new. You'd click upload. You'd find the file. It uploads. And then you click activate so that it says active right here. So this is now my active theme. And then if you decide you want to check out some other themes, you can you can add several other themes here to your library, but you can only have one active at one time. So I've got the Aveda theme active. Then you're going to need to register it. So when you come in here, there's going to be a registration tab. You've got the demos tab right here, which is where you can check out all the different uh, templates and theme styles if you don't want to custom build your website from scratch. And then theme options is where you customize all the different th settings for the w WordPress theme. So go ahead and just click on this tab right here that says Aveda. It's always up here near the top of your toolbar. And then you're going to go into each of these individual tabs. So you'll go into the registration tab and it's going to want to verify that you actually bought it. So it's going to have you sign into your, your theme forest account, which is technically an Invado account. So you'll need to sign up for a free Invado account. So you can see my username here says Envoy 2013. That's my account. I've signed up with Invado, and then I can, and then they you've got access to these different marketplaces. Uh, so Theme Forest, you know, that's where you can find themes. Code Canyons, like where you could find WordPress plugins for your website. Video Hive, Audio Jungle, Graphics. So they've got photos. So they've got a lot of different resources here, but Theme Forest is the one where you pick out all these different themes. You can come here under WordPress, Popular Items look at all your different options uh, but the Aveda theme is the one I went with so you'll have to register it you know they'll just have you sign into your account they'll create a token you'll copy paste that token and you're good to go you'll be all registered then what you've got to do next is you got to come here to plugins this theme comes with two plugins that are required one is your page builder that allows you to build out your pages uh, custom how you want them and the other one is like the theme software the, that runs the whole system called Fusion Core. So you need the builder and you need Fusion Core. So it says right here, required, required. So you'll go ahead and install and activate both these plugins. And then they give you some other examples of other plugins if you want to install those as well. So WooCommerce, this is going to be the one I'll be installing shortly and activating to run my store. Uh, but I think what I'm actually going to do is use ClickFunnels. Uh, because I want to be able to track, you know, how much traffic is coming to my product page, how many people are making it to the checkout page, and how many people are actually buying it. So ClickFunnels is like a third-party uh, purchase checkout software that costs ninety-nine dollars a month, but it allows me to see, you know, how how people are converting, and then I can tweak things to try to convert product sales at a higher rate. So. For example, if I get like a thousand people stopping by my product page, which I would link to it in all my blog posts. So I'd write blog articles. I'd link to my winner training program, which is going to be my main product I'm going to be selling. They're going to click that product link. It's going to take them to my third party website on ClickFunnels where they're going to see the sales page. And then from there, it's a matter of going to the checkout page and actually checking out buying the product. And then I can upload all the files to ClickFunnels so that once they check out, they get access to download all the files. So I'm going to be able to see a bunch of analytics, basically seeing you know how well that product's converting, if it's actually relevant, if people actually want it, or if it's got a low conversion rate, is it because the sales page you know, isn't optimized very well or in the wording of the sales page might be off. So you can make tweaks and stuff. So that's why I'm going to try ClickFunnels this time. My previous golf site, I used WooCommerce and I still do. Um, it's pretty convenient. I mean, it's you get your own store on your own website so that, you know, if ClickFunnels ever went away, I would lose all of my stuff on ClickFunnels. But having it on your own website, you know, it's kind of nice that way it's it's there you know you don't have to worry about other third party platforms ever disappearing or quitting you know stopping their business or whatever and you'd have to migrate later on but for now i'm going to try click so I'll, I'll keep you updated in another video on how to set up click funnels but once you've installed these plugins then what we're going to do is start designing the website so next we go in here to demos and this is where i can look through a bunch of different types of uh, templates that they give you 
So they've got all these different templates. Let's see how many there are. 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, 28. About 30 different templates they've got right now. And they add, they add a new template every so often when they come out with new versions. So right now we're on version 5.2.2. So in the future, you know, they might have different, different templates here depending on when you're watching this video. But uh, what I ended up doing was going through previewing them. You can click preview or import. So click preview. It'll take you in. So I went ahead and checked out the one that had to do with a church. So let me find it here, right here called church. I'll hit preview and you can go ahead and see kind of what it looks like. So they've got the logo up here. They've got the little message and then they've got the button and then their menu is down here. So that's how, that's the style of menu bar, the header area that I wanted. And I kind of like how it's got the sides running down here. So it's kind of like a box theme where you, as you scroll, you know, your website kind of scrolls up while that outside part stays static. So if you take a look here, you know, this looks just like mine, except I customized my own, you know, description button, my own menu. I'm putting in a new logo in a second, which I'll actually show you guys as well. So that was the theme demo I decided to go with. So what happens here is you'll click on, you'll click on the uh, import button. So I'll go ahead and start with this one since I haven't done it yet. And it's going to pop up this page here where you can choose what content you want them to import for you. So you can either import everything where they're going to import pages, they're going to import products, all the images, all the sliders, all the theme settings, and all the widgets. So it, it's up to you. If you want everything, you can click all, but you know that is going to change your theme options. It is going to uh, install all the images that they used on their theme. So it, you know, it kind of saves you if you don't want to go out and hunt down your own images. But in my case, you know, all the church images weren't relevant to golf. So I only, I only installed the pages and I think I did the theme options and the widgets so that it, it keeps all the settings the same. So all the fonts and sizes and all that are the same. So you'll go ahead and choose what you want to import. If you want to import everything, you can start with that. You can always delete stuff later, or you can start with a couple things and you can always import the rest later too. Um, but start with that. Now, once you've imported all those settings, Again, that's where all those pages will pop up in your page bar right here. So that's when I went into all pages. I went and clicked on the home page and then I click on edit page and I can open up the page and start kind of editing it and building it. So if I want to change any fonts, font sizes, colors, you know, when I'm hovering and it's blue, any of that is going to be done in your Aveda theme options. But as far as settings for the actual page itself, I can customize like how I put in this image here. You can customize that, like how I made uh, the background image different than like this box. I made like a light gray so that it kind of has contrast. I could change the text color that I want this text to be. I could put this image in, I could put this button in. So I'll show you how to do that in the page builder. So I'm gonna make a whole other video sometime um, coming up here where I'm actually gonna design like a page from scratch. It's gonna be kind of a lengthy video because there's a lot of saving and previewing and coming out here to see what things look like when you make changes. So it's gonna be kind of a hard video to make, but it will show you how to use this page builder, but I'll give you a brief overview of the page builder. So again, that's when we went in here to plugins and you installed that page builder plugin. So it's called Fusion Builder. So they've got a lot of the demo ones you can already install if you want. So I just went ahead and started modifying that demo template and kind of made it my own, but it starts with a column. So you've got these different columns, which is this blue box right here with the blue bar. You can clone it, you can edit it, you can trash it, you can save it if you want to use this container later on. So it's called a container. And then as you scroll down, you'll see more containers. So here's a container, you know, here's a container. So what it does is it kind of splits your, your web page up into sections. So this is container number one right here that's got this background. Container number two is this blue background, this button right here. Container number three is this gray section. How can I help your golf game? That's got these different uh, menu tabs here they can click on if they want to learn different, different parts of their golf game. And I do apologize. My voice is kind of going out. It's kind of shot right now. I've been doing a lot of drywall work at my rental property that I've acquired. And a lot of that dust and stuff has been making my voice kind of scratchy. So I can hear it kind of cutting in and out right now while I'm making this video. So I apologize for that. But you can see here, this would be another container. And then here's another container that's got this stuff in it, the image and the, the text here. So you can create different containers to kind of split up your web page. So container number one, 
you can set column sizes so out here again we'll go back up to the top this would be the two-fifths and this would be the three-fifths you can see it's not quite split down the middle it's three-fifths and two-fifths so when you come back in here that's the two-fifth column the three-fifth column so this one I left blank and the reason you're seeing this image is because this is the background image for the container so in here if you go into the container settings you can change the background to a solid color or you can import your own image so I imported my own image there of me with a golf club and then the actual container itself I put the three-fifths column so I gave the text the image and the button so those are different elements I put within this column so out here we've got the text box the image box and the button box and then you can change the column color so I made it like a light gray so that it contrasts with the container color and the container background image and then you can mess with spacing so you can you know kind of make the spacing come in a little bit you can change the button you can change the image so all that's right there and then we went on to container number two which is just a button and I made the button setting so that it spans the whole width of the page so that's why this button looks a lot different it spans the entire container instead of being like a little small tiny button like this one and then all I had to do was change the button text to say what I wanted and gave the button an icon like a little email icon all right so then the next container again a text box a text box and then you've got these little content boxes so we'll scroll down to that container so I gave it a one size all column so that it fills up the whole space so that's why this is you know a big one a full container or a full column here running across I didn't split it up into fifths like we did above instead that just takes up the whole page and I centered the text so that's why it's centered here and then I went ahead and wrote some little subtext underneath it so this is another one by one takes up the whole space and I centered that text and then I gave a little separator bar that I made orange so that's how you can see that little separator bar that's orange right there so that separates the text from the content boxes a little bit so it gives it some space so now these content boxes let's go ahead and check those out so for those you had to make one fourth columns so one fourth one fourth one fourth one fourth that all adds up to one which is you know what you that's the max you can get if you've you've been doing the math here we had two fifths and three fifths so that adds up to one or you can just do a one by one that takes up the whole space there so now down here we did one fourth by one fourth by one fourth all the way across and then I did one content box set it up how I wanted it and then all fr from there I just cloned it eight different times that way all I had to do was go in and each time all I had to do was change the text and the icon I didn't have to reset up all the settings again so that's what you can do to save time you can create one of these if you're going to be duplicating it multiple times and then just click clone a bunch of times and then go in and edit each one for the little specific things that you need to edit so that's how we created these little fancy things where when I hover it it kind of pulse pulsates and it has the little blue ring around it and so they can click there to get taken to different blog posts related to these different topics the golf swing putting chipping short game I've got some little product ones down here to get them to different programs and products resources my email list so not only blog articles but you also want to try to promote some products or email lists on your home page that way you can get people onto your email list where you can eventually market them your ebooks or your programs or if you're doing resources like affiliate products and then we get down here into the next container so this is where I start pitching different programs golf fitness golf putting golf training so I'm gonna create some different products but again this is gonna be my main like winter program that I'm gonna be promoting on this website since it's getting close to winter time I feel like the winter training program is gonna be the most uh, effective one that's gonna sell the best right now because golf is a seasonal sport so I have to sell seasonal products so I'm gonna create like a 36 day training program or I might make it 21 days and I might change this up I was just playing around with web design to see you know a lot of these I might I might take them back uh, I'll save the containers so that they're already pre-built like this but I'll go ahead and like delete them off the home page so that I they're not they're not showing on the home page until I get those products made yet but I was just building them in the meantime to see what it would look like so once I get these products built golf putting mastery the 36 day challenge these different products I can start promoting once I've got them built but for now I might go ahead and you know recreate a new container that's based around the golf winter training program because that's going to be the actual product I start promoting on day one when the blog launches on November 1st 
All right, so that's kind of a quick overview. We can keep going down and you'll see the same thing. It's just containers that have different columns in them. And then inside those columns, I put different elements, text boxes, buttons, things like that. So again, you'll have to keep coming here and clicking preview changes. And then it'll take you out here to your site so you can actually see what it looks like live on your website. So it's a tedious process to make little tweaks and keep clicking preview changes until it looks good. Then you can click update to save your changes. And then when you're ready to go, you know, you'll click publish the page and it'll publish live. Or if it's already published, you just click update and it'll keep updating it. Uh, so that's how you would design the page. So that's pretty much where we've gotten to so far. In addition to setting up our menu, I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. So once you decide what pages you want set up and you create all your different pages, then you come under appearance, you go to menus and I'll open that up in a new tab. And then I can start setting what pages I want to show up in my menu bar here. So I had to create a home page, a start here page, about or a blog page. So these are three pages I created. And then these are just category links. So they actually, if you hover it and you look up in the link in the uh, in the bottom left hand corner down there, it says http www.nickfoygolf.com slash category slash golf swing. So this is just like a blog post category link that's gonna take them to a page that's got all the different blog posts related to the golf swing so it's not actually a page that I created it's one that got automatically created when you run your blog <clears throat> excuse me when you run your blog so what we're gonna do here under menus is you just come here to your different pages you want you check mark them well first you're gonna have to type a menu name and click create menu and then the page will reload and you'll be able to go in here and check what pages you want click add to menu It'll pop them in right here. You can reorder them so I can drag and drop so I can drag the home up to the top and that makes it show up first. So the home, the start here, the blog. So that's the order we got here under the menus. We got the home, the start here, the blog. And then you can see here this says category. So they actually have a category tab right here. So this will be a drop down, click view all. And I set up different categories for my blog articles so I can check these that I want and it'll insert them here. Or I could do a custom link. If I knew the link, I could type it in here and then I could add it to the menu. So to set up those different categories for my blog articles, I had to come under posts and they've got the t categories button right there. So that's where you can go add. That's where I could go in and add the golf swing, golf putting, golf chipping, the, those types of categories. And then they'll show up here in the menu section under the view all tab and I can add them to my menu then. So that wraps up this tutorial episode number one of how to start an online business these these are going to be you know those monthly recaps this first month i'm kind of making these videos to kind of show you how the whole website setup process is going and then after that i'll be doing those monthly reports where i just show like traffic blog articles i published you know how much traffic got to my product pages conversion rates so i'll be doing case study income reports every month after that so enjoy these first several videos i show you in this month uh, because it's kind of showing you step-by-step -step tutorials of what I'm doing. So we talked about buying hosting on Bluehost using my affiliate link, asknickfoy.com slash Bluehost. It's linked below in the video description. Uh, and then once you've you know gone through and set up your Bluehost, gone through purchased hosting, set up your WordPress site, got logged in, then you got to go over here and purchase the Aveda theme if that's the theme you want to use. So I just typed in, you know, asknickfoy.com slash Aveda, and that'll take you right to the Aveda theme so you can check it out. Then you'll come back in here to your dashboard. You'll go to the appearance tab under themes, and you'll go ahead and add new theme, click upload, upload that file. You'll have to register your theme under the register tab. Aveda will pop up right here in your tab. So you can go to registration. You go in here then to plugins, install the two required plugins that allow you to build your page and run your theme. And then you go into demos and you start previewing demos and you can see you know which one you like best and then you'll just go here to import import that theme and then you'll go into those individual pages once they've imported all those pages you can go in and edit each individual page that they imported and customize it to the way you want it to look for your website so that's where i'm at right now with nickfoygolf.com we've got the basic design set up and you know got the menu set up and all uh, the logo so the logo one other thing we could do is come in here to i believe it's theme options so you have to go into aveda into theme options now what i'm going to do with this website is i'm actually hiring some stuff out because now i'm actually you know bringing in 
uh, a steady income every month from my online business. So it, it just saves me time because time is your biggest resource. When, when I first ran my very first website, I tried doing everything myself and there was a lot of things I wasn't skilled at. So the quality just didn't come out very well. So if you're not very skilled at something like a logo design or you know writing content for your blog, like writing articles, if you're not a very skilled writer or you think there's other people who can do a better job, there's different things you can hire out in your business. So I'm actually gonna be hiring out a lot of work for this website using money I'm making from my other online businesses. That way I can get this website going a lot quicker because time is my most valuable resource. Like I said, I'm already you know doing real estate investing, uh, working on renovating an apartment complex and you know doing different things outside of online business. So then when I do work on my online business, I've got social media accounts to run. I've got you know websites to run, articles to write, things like that. So it's it's tough for me to to have a lot of time right now to run a brand new blog. And you know a lot of you that might have a job or other things you're doing, you'd be in the same boat. You know you wouldn't have a whole lot of time to dedicate to your blog. So to speed things up, you can find little things to outsource. So what I did is I went to Upwork.com. It's a freelance website, and I just posted a job saying I need a logo created. And I found a graphic designer who would build a logo for me. So I, I gave him a fixed price of $15 he agreed to. So he went ahead and gave me three, four, five different logo designs. And I picked the ones that I wanted uh, him to send me the, the PNG files for. So we'd go in here to theme options. And they've actually got a setting called logo. So I'll go in here to logo. Now the current one that you just saw was one that I actually created myself just temporarily. So I'm going to go ahead and click remove. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go into Upwork and show you so that you can see what it's like because I don't think I've downloaded the image that he sent me yet. So we're gonna need we're gonna need to download that image first. So I'll show you a little bit about Upwork because this is where you're gonna go to hire stuff out. So right here under jobs, you can go to post a job and then that's where they'll take you through all the, the setup to post your job kind of like any other time you've posted on other sites like Craigslist or eBay or you know other websites before they, they'll walk you through the steps to get your posting live so I've got this guy here called his name is Sanskir Goswami if you guys want to use him you know let him know Nick Foy sent you uh, he does a lot of my design work for me so I went ahead and just created a contract with him where I told him I wrote out the job description the job title how much I was paying 15 bucks I clicked send message it sends him a message and you know then we communicate back and forth so here is the logo zip file he ended up sending me once he got the designs built and then let me go back in here and actually see if i can show you kind of the the image he sent me before so here he sent me an image with like nine different designs and i picked out the ones that i wanted and then he went ahead and sent me individual files for each of those images so after asking a couple people close to me, they the the votes were in and they liked image number one, image number three, and image number five. So those are the three we ended up picking out. So I think we're gonna start with image number three as my main logo, but in the future, if I'm doing product branding, I might go with you know some of these other logos to brand the products with. Uh, so we got, we got the zip file downloaded now, so I'll go and click open. But Upwork, they basically handle all the payments and stuff for you, so You'll connect like your PayPal account or you can connect a credit card or whatever to it. Uh, and they'll actually take money from your PayPal account ahead of time and put it in their escrow account. So that once the you, you click you know pay the freelancer, it'll then release those funds. So they don't actually release the funds to the freelancer until you've actually you know inspected the job that they're doing for you and passed them. So once you click the approve button or whatever, that'll actually allow them to get access then to those funds. So let me go ahead here and let's just paste this in somewhere real quick so we can find it easily. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. I went ahead and downloaded that zip file. I found that photo, put it into a folder where I could find it. And then I came back in here to theme options and went to upload files. And now I found the file on my computer. So it's uploading here into my media bin where I'm gonna be able to then select it as my logo. And then you're gonna see all these other images here in the media bin. So when I was talking earlier about importing the demo, they import all the images if you choose to have them do so. So they, the, here's all the images they imported with the theme when I imported the theme. So it imported their logo, all their background images they were using on different pages. So the reason I did that was just so that when I go into each individual page to edit it, 
I can figure out you know what size their photos were so I can try to create my own photos the same sizes and you know things like that so I can see where certain photos go that way I'll be able to create my own photos and just replace their photos with my own so that was the reason why I chose to import all theirs but I'm gonna eventually at some point go in and delete them all out because I'm not gonna need them so go ahead always when you upload images put in some alt text so Nick Foy golf that just tells Google what the image is about and those images could even rank in Google potentially so that could you know help you out too as far as getting traffic to your website people searching Google images if they typed in like Nick Foy golf this image might come up and then they'll be able to find me so I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page here and if it doesn't catch or anything it should refresh with the new logo all right so here's what the page looked like when I refreshed it now the logo is absolutely massive so that's a problem so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to come back in here it looks like we're gonna have to resize the logo to the right size and then upload it into my media library but I think once you upload the the logo into your media library we can just go to the edit settings button and it's gonna let me change the change the settings for that logo so I'm gonna go ahead and mess with that kind of outside of this video but I think that's pretty good for today showing you how we've set up our logo we've set up our menu we've you know I walked you through how the page builder works uh, in addition to you know how to even get to your website uh, by buying hosting picking your domain name installing WordPress logging in you know picking out a theme all that so thanks so much for watching this video be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for you know the second episode where I'm gonna be giving you another update of other things that I've been doing to this website to get it all set up in the 30-day period uh, before we launch it on November 1st and then it'll be a live website that's gonna start earning me money and I'll be reporting traffic and income reports every month for you guys so you can see what I'm doing to build an online business from scratch uh, using the things that I've learned already building my other online businesses uh, so I'm gonna be able to speed it up and see results a lot quicker this time and I want to help speed up your results and make things a lot quicker for you as well so that's why you should check out profitable blogger that is my online course that's gonna give you that 30 day roadmap of everything to do over the next 30 days to get your website set up, get your email list set up, get your product created, and get ready to start driving traffic to your website on launch day. So if you wanna learn more about it, you can go here to asknickfoy.com slash profitable dash blogger. And it's also gonna be below in the video description, but you can go to asknickfoy.profitable blogger and when you click enter that's going to take you direct to the course page where you can learn more about it but another place you know if I, I run all of my online teaching internet marketing courses on teachable so you can always go to my school dashboard page my home page for my school so it's a subdomain for teachable.com so teachable.com that's the platform I host my school on you would just type in my subdomain asknickfoy.teachable.com and you're gonna see you know some of the different courses that I offer so profitable blogger is how to launch your your profitable blog in 30 days and then drive traffic to it with Pinterest and build your email list with ConvertKit so those are three different courses you can learn from and then you know I mentioned I do real estate investing and stuff on the side where I invest my money from my online business into uh, multifamily properties to try to generate passive income so at some point I'm gonna be launching a real estate investing course here on this course dashboard page as well so you can stay tuned for that if that's of interest to you but profitable blogger you can scroll down here check out my intro video um, everything that you're getting all the things you're gonna be doing over the next 30 days and as you scroll down here you'll get to see all the different video lessons chapter 1 chapter 2 all the way down here to like chapter 9 or 10 so it's a pretty big course there's tons of videos lots of bonuses lots of worksheets PDFs you're getting tons of value for only 77 bucks right now uh, at the time you're watching this video if the price has changed I do apologize you know I'm at some point gonna be raising prices I'm just you know kinda running a, a coupon promo sale right now of $77 to see you know get some feedback on the course because it's kinda new but at some point you're there's gonna be a lot of people a lot of demand for it and I'm gonna be raising prices to try to keep you know a close-knit community where we can give community support in like a private Facebook group or email support so thanks so much again for watching be sure to check out the different resources we talked about Bluehost, Aveda, 
uh, and as well as this course. Um, and then I look to see you guys in the next video lesson when I update you on episode number two. Take care.